The reason I love uh, Robert Scoble so much is, to me, I I'm a former uh, serious tennis player, and I always think of the you know the players in my time in the in the 70s and 80s who were the players of the moment for me, Bjorn Borg and John McEnroe and Jimmy Connors, Roscoe Tanner. And you know the, mo the modern day equivalent of those are Roger Federer, Djokovic, Nadal, Murray. You know they're the sort of modern version of what I remember as a kid. And I I try and use those sort of top four guys online and think who are the who are the top four guys online? You know who is the Roger Federer on the internet? And that person is Robert Scoble. Because he works so incredibly hard, he studies so incredibly hard. He's interviewed like three or four thousand people around the world. He goes to every conference he can. He networks. He he reads. He he interviews. He it's just relentless. Um, he's a learning machine. He's a learning, networking, publishing, posting, sharing machine, like Roger Federer is at hitting that ball so beautifully at tennis and winning all those Grand Slams. He's he's the Grand Slam winner online. And when with something new like uh, Google Glass, which is you know like the Apple IIe in 1977, you know it's, it's right at the beginning of its birth that product, and we don't know what it's going to be when we're you know, all loaded up with these, uh, these face-mounted computers. He just plays with it. You know, he puts on this thing and he, he has a photo. His wife, Miriam, takes a photo of him in the shower wearing a face-mounted face computer. And then he posts it everywhere on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google. Just see what people think. And that photo went so viral because you don't associate wearing a facial computer with being in the shower, with water, because, you know, it might be plugged in, even though it isn't, but the battery and water and so on. That, that photo really established him and Google Glass, and more importantly, face-mounted face computers, which is new to us, as the king of social media in, you know, in Business Week and Fortune and Forbes and Wall Street Journal, FT, you know, he, this guy is, is so crazy. He's the king of social media. And that, that desire to be totally open, totally random, totally supportive on all the social platforms, with any technology all the time, I really admire and respect because it's, to me it's just phenomenal. And to do that for 100 hours a week relentlessly for what must be 20 years, to me, that is a, a unique gift, and he probably has every every ailment known to man, um, you know, s s getting in his way. But he overcomes every ailment he has to just consume, learn, and share. And I, I think if we had a world of consume, learn, and share, and teach, we'd be advancing much faster, much faster. I'd like to see uh, mini scobles everywhere.